Bill, you and Maggie, what don't I know? Olivia, we have been over this. Yes, yes, I know. Your co-workers, you happen to share a past. You also happen to know everything about each other's favorite uh, food. And you like to go up on rooftops and throw maybe, paper airplanes maybe. down on the city and we laugh about the together. old times. Maggie and I work together, nothing more. I promise. Are you sure? Because I got a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach that the two of you are hiding something. I think Maggie and I are hiding. If I knew, I wouldn't be asking you, would I? I've been honest with you, Steve, from the very beginning. No secrets, no games. All I am asking is that you treat me the same way. I couldn't help overhearing. Really? You know what? You could if you would stop hovering around Steve 24-7. There's a reason for that. Steve and I have been hiding something. Okay. Let's hear it. I thought there might still be something between us. Some feelings left over from Memphis. And? Steve made it clear he was with you. Steve, all you have to do is say otherwise. I got no interest in being with someone who doesn't want to be with me. I didn't want to be the cause of problems for you two. Really? Really, because you could have fooled me by the way you had your tongue shoved down his throat. Hmm? You saw that? She confronted me. Yeah, and I would have thought that you would have had the class to step the hell off, but I guess not. Olivia, I'm sorry. Really. We got off on the wrong foot, and I sincerely hope that we can get past this. Huh. Well. Why, why didn't you uh, tell me that you saw us? Because I didn't know what to say. I don't know what it meant. Okay, we've never defined a relationship. Steve, maybe we're not exclusive. You know, I, I guess I should be grateful to Maggie. <sighs> Although what I really want to do is just, is just smack that stupid smug smile off the face and rip her hair out by the roots. <sighs> Seeing that kiss, it really bothered me. We always joke about how I'm your Olivia. And it's true. I am. But I'm not really sure that you're my Steve. And, and I really want you to be mine. Only mine. What the hell is Dante doing here? You guys, I'm okay. I don't need a doctor. You could need stitches. <sighs> Do you really think that this guy went after me because he knew I was working the stripper case? I don't know. Maybe he's following the investigation. Maybe he knows we're interviewing the victims. And I'm a much easier target than you or Ronnie. Look, Dr. Keenan said this guy is looking to get caught. Which makes sense why he would target a cop. Yeah. Keenan also said this guy's getting more dangerous. You're lucky you got away when you did because it looks like he's stepping his game up. This was hurt that badly. Oh, thank God. But I do think Dante was right in wanting a doctor to check out the cut. Hey, I'm gonna go check in with her, see if I can find out anything else about what happened. Great. I'm sorry to say it, I just don't trust that woman around Dante. Olivia, she was attacked. But you said that she already had a scratch. She's his partner. I mean, if it was Ronnie in there, he'd be just as concerned. Okay. Honey, let's just say Dante was very popular. As a kid, all right, every time I picked up the phone, there was some young lady finding an excuse to call the house or run into him on the street. Okay, I know the signs. And I'm not saying that he's susceptible, honey. He loves you so much. I'm just saying that so-called partner, she's looking for more. Well, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I, I don't, I don't need it. I, I like her, you know, I think that we could be friends. Really? Friends? Yeah, you know, um, she told me about a job opening at the station. It's nothing fancy, but, you know, I'd be working near Dante. But if I were you, I would take that job. Hey, gotta go. I'm fine. I'm gonna go home. He wants to give you a lift or something? Oh. Or we could just uh, call your husband and have him pick you up. No, it's fine. I'm gonna call a cab. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, Padilla. We're gonna catch this son of a bitch. Okay, he came after one of our own. It's personal now. I'll see you at the station.